This is also really interesting. So um, this comes from Ben Axelrod. Bill Simmons and Ryan Rossillo, national NBA guys, both yeah. pick Evan Mobley as their defensive player of the year. And I certainly think he should be in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think as the Cavs get into the spotlight a little bit more, he's going to be more and more in that conversation. Can we add another name? Because Chris Fedor picked Evan Mobley as <laughs> defensive player of the year, too. And, and, and you know <laughs> our ballots were due. Our ballots were due today at 6 o'clock p.m. And I picked Evan Mobley as defensive player of the year. I picked Evan Mobley as first team all defense. And look, I get an argument for Brooke Lopez. I get the argument for Draymond Green if you want to make it. I get the argument for Jaron Jackson Jr. as well. I just felt like in my position, watching Evan on a nightly basis, I feel like I see the impact possession to possession, night to night, that he makes that doesn't always show up in the stat sheet. Um, and, and I think that's what defensive player of the year should be all about. It should be about impact. It should be about value to your defense. The Cavs are the number one defense in the NBA in large part because what everything that Evan Mobley can do. Like he can guard on the perimeter. He can protect the rim. He can guard one through five. He has nearly as many contested shots at the rim as he does out at the three point line. Like that is unicorn level stuff yeah. that you don't see from every single defender. Brooke Lopez can't guard out on the perimeter. Yep. Right? Like Jaron Jackson Jr. is a great defensive player. There's no doubt about it. But I just feel like because of the Cavs being the number one defense, because Evan is number one in defensive win shares, because he's number one in ESPN real plus minus, and because they function defensively the way that they do, in large part because of him and his versatility, I think that should be rewarded. I agree with you. And, and I think – if more people saw him night in, night out, he'd have more votes as the defensive player of the year. Um, all right, before and like if he got more blocks per game and more steals per game and those usual counting numbers that a lot of people look at, maybe he would get more love. But again, his possession to possession impact, I don't know that anybody has a greater one. Yeah, I, I agree with you. If you watch the Cavs closely, <laughs> he makes a difference on the defensive end of the court.